Hello, and welcome to this Untamed Screencast tutorial. Today, we're going to focus on integrating a one-page scrolling effect. Like you can see here, we have a side navigation and a nice jQuery scrolling effect that just eases our viewport into the section that we're reading. For instance, here is section one, and we can scroll all the way down to section five, and it doesn't just instantly scroll. But that's not the trick. Today, we're going to learn how to integrate this effect into a Twitter bootstrap project. The process is pretty simple to follow along with. I found a really great one page navigation script for jQuery provided by Trevor Davis on GitHub. You can find it by going to the link that I'll provide in the notes. And what we're going to do now is just download this zip file. So we'll download. Here we have our download. I'll minimize this window and we can drag that download onto our desktop. Nice. All right. We can take this and unzip it, copy it to our desktop, and there we have it unzipped. All right, and let's take a look at what we have here in the file. Let's see, we have a few, looks like some examples, the regular jQuery and jQuery nav and jQuery scroll to. So we, we know exactly what these are and we will start to integrate them now. The next thing to do is to download Bootstrap itself. We could, let's get our window over here, we could start by just downloading it straight from the Bootstrap website. However, I really like to go the HTML5 boiler boilerplate route. We can download it by either pressing the download button here, but this won't give us Bootstrap. To do that, we can press get a custom build. And here we have the HTML5 boilerplate, but now it can be bundled in either a responsive, classic, or a bootstrap bundle, which we're way into. We can click on the bootstrap bundle and then just customize it a little bit. Let's see, as far as an HTML and CSS template, yep, that'd be nice to have the responsive template. We could have modernizer and respond. We'd like our jQuery minified because we like it speedy. And we do want an HT access file, a plugins.js, that's where we'll put all of our scroll to plugins that we'll need and a humans.txt is always kind of nice, 404 and maybe the Adobe Cross domain, oh, and a robots. Let's just throw it all in there and we'll download that. So let's see what that got us. Now we can take that over to our desktop and let's unpack this. As you can see here we have our file and that's unzipped. Let's take these and clean up our desktop a little bit. And let's rename this file to, let's see, we'll call this say a scroller. We can unpack that and let's see what we have. Under the index.html, we have the usual suspects, a bootstrap navigation, a few pages, a drop down menu, but our JavaScript isn't quite working, and a few sections, as well as the form and the navigation. It's a really good starting place. All right. Okay, so we have Bootstrap downloaded, and now it's time to take another good look at the jQuery one page navigation script. So we see the effect on the front end, but how do they do it on the back? Um, we can view the page source. Okay, it looks like we have some styles, just some general styles for the demo. Okay, here is the navigation with, it looks like they're using section IDs. So we need to make sure and remember this. And then, yep, here is each container, a class of section, and then an ID of section, and then a number. So that will help us remember. It looks like these numbers need to correlate with these links. All right. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to be using Brackets, Adobe's new code editor that is open source, and they have another version that comes with their Creative Cloud, but this is the open source version that's kind of community driven, so it's sort of neat. Um, one of my favorite features about this is that it comes with a little live reload widget, 
which is really really nice um, so I'm gonna put this half screen so we can see our changes in action I will take this half screen as well actually maybe even a little bit more than half yep that looks good okay so what I've gone ahead and done is I've created some sections so an about us section a contact us section a blog and a portfolio and I have added those links into our navigation so let's take a look at the HTML now as you can see I have our normal bootstrap navigation bar but for now we've added to our UL with a class of nav an ID and this is really important to remember um, of top nav you don't necessarily have to use the ID of top nav but it's good to have a memorable ID for your JavaScript and we also have a class of active on our home but we don't want that because we're gonna actually be toggling a class of active between all of our scrolling links so we can take away this class and if you'll watch over here on the live version using this live reload feature the home button will actually without needing to save or action you will need to save but without needing to update the browser itself it should go ahead and take that out and it did so that's one of the benefits of using the live reload feature in this cool new um, text editor called brackets um, there, there are some ways to use it on the Mac but this is actually the first way that I've seen to do it reliably on the PC and I'm pretty excited about it um, another example is for instance here we have our normal bootstrap body styling um, pushing the body container down past the navigation on the top we could just turn this into 160 pixels and it would automatically update with each save and that's really helpful if you just want to edit your code and look at the result immediately without having to go between programs or apps and pressing the reset button every single time it gets tedious and this is just a really nice solution for that so we'll keep on looking at our code here we have our sections and that's perfect and we have no classes on these right now because we will be toggling the class of active using JavaScript and I'll show you that JavaScript right now um, okay so we can go further down as you can see here we have our hero unit which corresponds to this area and our headings in our row that corresponds to these areas however I'm added in some kind of unique sections of the page that match our new navigation I've added first of all a div with a class of block and I have just repeated this what I'm what I'd like to do with these divs is to provide a minimum base height that we can guarantee that these sections are no matter what the content is it just looks nice and is kind of appealing whenever you're using a one page scrolling um, plugin and I've given this div a section of ID so no matter what even without JavaScript whenever we'd click on our navigation up top with the hash section of section one we would go to the um, uh, to the div with the ID of section one we also have a page header which is kind of a nice title class for bootstrap and if we keep on going down you can see we have another block with section two three and four and all of the page headers correspond to the navigation so I am going to take this one out but first I'm going to copy out this paragraph text and let's just write one of these sections together live we'll start with a div the class of block now be it okay and I can see that the section above this I titled section or I had given an ID of section 3 so we can do the same thing here ID with a section of four perfect and you can see brackets does the kind of nice auto closing our div um, function that a lot of the other code editors do that I it's just a feature that I've kind of grown used to and I really really like and I always like to comment out the end of every div so going back if our code gets complicated we know exactly where um, an element starts and um, starts and ends okay so inside of this we can create a 
h2 or an h3 or really any kind of heading but just give it a class of page header and that's how you'll get that nice border along the bottom but this one will give a class of page header and let's see it's going to be the portfolio so we've added the portfolio and you, and you couldn't see it but actually our live reload included that HTML and we'll add in the paragraph and our page reloads and now we have that paragraph added in and as you can see this is just a bunch of paragraph text you could really use any content feel free you go nuts you could use forms galleries any sort of one page scrolling content this is just placeholder text to demonstrate the effect okay let's go down into our JavaScript so under um, with the HTML5 boilerplate we included in the plugins.js and within that plugins.js I have gone ahead and included our jQuery scroll to right here and it's a minified version of that and the jQuery one page nav plugin and I'll put in the show notes here um, the links to those things so you can download those and include them in your document but I like to include every JavaScript um, plugin or function that I have into one solid plugins.js and then maybe if we have some custom scripts we can include a scripts.js so it's important to serve as little files to get as few HTTP requests as possible and this is a good way to do it just cram them all into one and then actually at the end of all of that you can run your JavaScript through a minification system and get it even smaller make your site a little bit speedier so here in the um, plugin itself they give us a little bit of a good example usage and as you can see they say hey go get a um, div with an ID of nav in this case we have a UL with an ID of nav and call up the one page nav jQuery plugin that sounds good let's see we're opening a function here and we have a current class of current a change hash of false and the change hash is something that they use to update the URL so you can actually target a very specific um, position on the page give someone a URL to that and it will go to that area on the page um, the scroll speed of 750 okay so within 750 milliseconds that's how long it'll take us to get from one part of the page to the other so let's head back over to our, our main.html and you can see here I've included that script in this area in this case we have a UL with an ID of top nav I'll go up and show that real quick so that's what we talked about a little bit earlier here's our UL and ID of top nav and again this could be named anything that you want just make sure you remember it to include it in this script right here so we have the UL with an ID of top nav we're calling it the one page nav and I've changed the current class to agree with the bootstrap native um, class changes on navigation and we're going to just change that over from current to active and it works like a charm and I like to ch put the change hash to true so we can give those um, nice URLs and the scroll speed will leave at 750 or actually let's take that up maybe to 1200 and make it a little bit slower but the effect even that more um, noticeable okay so everything should be loaded up if we go to the top of our page we can see that we can click about down to contact down to blog and portfolio blog about and doesn't matter the scroll and the jQuery scroll to will take care of all of those operations for us and it's just a really really nice and simple effect to implement in your projects now one thing to um, point out here is we talked about these divs with the class of block let's see if I can find one for you here's a div with the class of block and I have added padding 20 pixels box sizing border box and overflow hidden but these styles aren't really necessary in fact all we really need is padding on top because we do want to give this a little bit of room to breathe here on top so let's take care of that 
one of the things I like the most about using brackets is anywhere that you see a common class, as long as you already have it in your style sheet, you can just click into the block area and right click and say quick edit. And since brackets is built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can actually adjust other um, files directly in your project from the index.html. So you can look at the section, the class that you want to edit. You don't have to even remember what it is. Just right click it, press edit, and you can see here I have under author's custom styles a div with a, or a class of block with padding 20, box sizing, border box, and overflow hidden. Let's take out these because I don't think we need these. And let's see if that updates. Yep, and didn't really do anything. So 20 pixels. That seems fine on top, but on the sides, I don't really need the 20 pixels to to be there. Since here you can see that we're actually cutting in about 20 pixels on each side to the true um, borders of our page. So let's take care of that by putting in zero pixels. Make sure our live reloads on. Let's take that back to 20 pixels just to show the effect again. And we can go back to zero pixels and reload. And see, that works just perfectly. And all you have to do to get out of this is just to press escape. And that's it. That's how to integrate a one page navigation in with a bootstrap project. Also, notice that whenever we go about, if you are just scrolling down, our navigation will implement the scroll spy and change over our classes to the proper section. It's just kind of a helpful, nice visual recognition of what you're doing on the page. All right, well, finally, we're done. That is how to integrate a jQuery one-page scroll into a bootstrap project. It's not too long of a process. In fact, it's pretty easy. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.